Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you tips and little tips on stamping. I had a request um, to uh, show the spritzer or how to work the spritzer and to be honest I thought for sure I had it in a few video and I didn't find it. So I'm going to do a quick video but don't walk away even if you know how to use this because I'm going to show quite a bit of tip on this card here. It's kind of a masculine card that I put celebrate, so really it can be for anything. So I'm going to show it on Monday, masculine Monday though. So first thing we're going to do, it's emboss a crumb cake with your wood grain embossing folder. And many of you send me email and say every time you use this, it rip your paper. Well, if you see mine, mine is very light, it's not ripping at all. The tip that I'm going to give you for that, I don't know where I got it, but here it is. You're going to take your embossing folder and you're going to take a piece of vellum, the cardstock, the vellum, put it on the in the bottom where you get, you know, the writing stamping up and a uh, scissor there. And just put two little pieces of adhesive in the back. I just put two little pieces. Pass this in the big shot and leave it there. You can use it over and over and over. And it's going to stop the crackling and the tearing of your paper. One thing that you're going to notice, though, it won't be as deep as it used to be because it won't go as deep, so it won't break your card stock. So that's the best tip I can give you on the wood grain. Now, many of you were asking me how I use a brayer with, um, when I use embossing. Well, the best thing for that, I'm going to use um, early espresso in the back. I'm going to take my brayer, and remember, your brayer, you don't go just like that. Oops, move the card so I don't get it dirty. You go up and down constantly. Get a piece of paper. I thought it was broke. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Here we go. So you just make sure your brayer, and you don't go just like this neither, because your side won't be done. So I go a bit there, a bit there. So now I got enough ink and I'm just going to roll this on top. Voila! You get the perfect wood grain like this. So now I'm going to move this. And I didn't have to pass my brayer so many times. I just got happy there, I guess. Now I'm going to stamp my uh, lovely as a tree. Yes, that stamp set been around for years and years. I think the year or two after I joined, and I've been with Stamping Up for uh, over 10 years, it came out. So it's been a long time. Or maybe it even came out before. I'm not sure. I think it was right when I joined. Now I'm going to use Always Artichoke. Stamp my um, lovely tree, my pine tree here. And now you see the bottom. I don't like it because it looks like it's going to fall down. What I'm going to do is take my aqua painter, take my ink pad, just squeeze it a little bit. So now I get kind of a little palette there with the ink on it. I'm going to take this, just use a little bit, and just do a little line here. After my little line are done, then I'm going to blend it. So it looks like I, it's on the, the grass or it gets something there like the ground. I'm going to go a little bit higher there. Voila! So then it adds a little bit in the bottom. It's not just the tree just hanging loose. Okay, next step it's the spritzer. That was the main thing I did this card. Take your spritzer, you get a screw here on top. Loose that up. I'm gonna use, um, I got chocolate chip today. I'm gonna use chocolate chip, oops, wrong tip. And you're gonna take the brush tip. Pull this up, you see the bigger tip. Put this through, and you want to put it that your tip, it's not all this way touching the 
the edge to the edge that's going to be too much so just the tip that you're going to see now you're going to squeeze this and when you squeeze this you don't go gentle you really give some puff and you see that's a lot so you want to lift about I would say a good six to eight inch from your paper and then just spritz it so the tip is really to um, give big I don't want to spray myself when you squeeze this you really squeeze hard quick and that's going to give your spritz so a lot of the time you want something in the background just a little bit of the splatter this is the perfect thing for that so that's how you use the spritzer now we're going to take this I pre-done everything for my cards so I use the uh, decorative label punch I stamp on my paper first and then I cut it sideways and you can see it was scrap paper that I use I just gonna cut that I'm gonna cut another partial one right here because we don't just need partial and now we're gonna build our card I'm gonna put my snail this is going to get right on top of my always artichoke. Okay, but my celery, oh, I want it sponged. I'm going to take my um, dauber and I get early espresso on it and I'm just going to sponge. Now I'm going to take this, put that in between right there. Try to line that up a little bit. Voila! Now, I'm going to take the other part here, and we're going to put that in the back. I'm going to put that right here to add a little bit of, dim not dimension, but different color. I got an early espresso. I'm going to glue uh, my wood grain. Grain out. Okay, ran out of all the tape here. Well, I'm going to pretend it's all glue. And this part here, I'm going to use dimensional. I think I put some tape, I don't know why, because I want to raise it up. I'm going to put two dimensional. And put it right here. See how quick and simple it is. And then inside I'm going to add another piece of uh, cardstock. And I did the three in the bottom just to finish it up. This is it, my friend. How simple it is. And you get a few good tips. And remember, it's not um, just a vellum paper. It's vellum cardstock that you want to use for the inside of your wood grain. Stop the cracking of your paper. This is it. Till next time, happy stamping.